we can't um, substantiate the reason for the stop. You know, we know what our officer said. However, there is no video footage, uh, no body camera footage that um, identifies Mr. Nichols recklessly driving. Uh, we know something happened prior to this officer or these officers getting out of their vehicles because as I explained, you know, earlier today that in the video, the initial stop shows the officers already ramped up at, at about a 10. So, and you know, just knowing the nature of officers, um, it takes something to get them amped up, you know, like that. We don't know what happened. So we can't pretend or imagine what happened. All we know is that the amount of force that was applied in this situation was over the top. The video starts when the initial officer who's stopping the car gets out of his car. His body camera video starts and you see him going to Mr. Nichols' car and he's yelling as he's going to the car. You know, get out the car, get out the car, you know, and using profane language and so on. So just that level of aggression just makes you wonder what in the world happened. And, you know, I would love to know. I haven't done a deep dive assessment to see whether or not we have a cultural problem. I know we have a supervisor shortage and, and uh, the lack of supervision in this incident was a major problem, you know, because when officers are working, you know, you should have at least one supervisor for every, you know, group or squad of people and not just somebody who's at the office doing the paperwork, somebody who's actually embedded in that unit. This department is woefully undersupervised, and um, we have other individuals right now that are under investigation um, in this instance, mainly because of the responsibilities of other people to be where they're supposed to be, to supervise, to intervene, to notify. And so there's been like a domino effect.